we are part of the, the United States government, uh, Agricultural Research Service, and, and we are looking to solve problems that farmers and growers have uh, throughout the country. And one disease that we're focused on right now is, is tar spot of corn. So what we're primarily focused on is identifying biological control organisms uh, that may be able to inhibit uh, the spread of this disease, and especially in uh, corn litter that's uh, left uh, each winter. Uh, the, the, the disease can definitely overwinter and we want to try and find uh, organisms that can reduce uh, the amount of tar spot inoculum uh, in the spring. Uh, we've been uh, doing this project for about a, a little over a year and a half now and so uh, we have an experiment out uh, outside of our lab uh, this, this winter. Uh, we, we've tested some uh, commercial organisms as well as some organisms that we identified here in the lab uh, and we're hoping that uh, the it would show that there's a reduced amount of tar spot pathogen uh, in those fragments of corn leaves. So we've, we've isolated hundreds of organisms uh, from tar spots and we isolated one, this, uh, this orange one here, uh, it is called Epicoccum and uh, this is a pathogen of corn called Fusarium verticillioides and you can kind of see that there's a clearing here uh, of, of the fungal growth. And this indicates that the orange fungus is making something that is degrading uh, the pathogen of corn. Um, and we, we've actually, we have part of this organism uh, out in the, in the field uh, testing it to see if it will also degrade uh, the tar spot pathogen. We did find one, one organ, commercially available organism that, is, that was able to reduce the amount of germination uh, or releasing of spore material in the tar spots uh, in, in some of our research and, and uh, we are actually trying to discuss with the manufacturer of that product uh, how, it, how it could be uh, further used uh, for this particular purpose.